want to thank God for uh, this blessed time. Uh, shortly, I just wanted to uh, share with all of you uh, what really had been a, a great blessing uh, for me uh, personally. And that is from uh, Gospel of John, chapter 9. Uh, we can all turn to uh, Gospel of John, chapter 9. So, uh, in this chapter, Gospel of John, chapter 9, the entire chapter, in the entire chapter, you will see uh, it is about a man who was born blind, he was healed. It is about this man for the entire, the entire chapter. And it is, uh, it is wonderful, uh, you know, the way that this chapter is ending. When this uh, chapter starts, we see that there was a man uh, who was born blind. And after that, how he is having a personal encounter with the Lord and the Lord Jesus. He is uh, helping this man to be completely healed. And towards the end, we see that uh, he uh, not only gets a physical healing, but at the same time, this man is also saved and towards the end we see that he is uh, worshipping the Lord. What a great uh, transformation that is happening in this man's life who was uh, born blind. It is an amazing transformation. Not only this, uh, many other examples in the Gospels that we see actually, you know, um, very hopeless or very pathetic situation people are in. But when they have an encounter with the Lord Jesus, their lives are completely transformed completely it is transformed uh, in the same way in my life also i have seen i can very much relate to it even though i was uh, born in a god fearing family but uh, you know i have seen that uh, you know my uh, in a certain stage my situation was so hopeless i was thinking that you know whether i will be coming back to a normal life but it is by god's mercy and his kindness that god saved me he rescued me from that darkness. So I would like to share uh, three things uh, from this particular chapter. The first thing, uh, this man was blind and he was healed by the Lord. When he met Jesus, he was healed. Now, uh, blind blindness, it also shows actually about darkness. So this man was in darkness since his birth. He has never seen light. He was always in uh, darkness and he will not be able to do so many normal things which maybe his siblings uh, were able to do or uh, his neighbors or his friends were able to do. And this led him to a stage where he was begging. Uh, we can read that in verse chapter 9, verse 8, that his neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging asked, isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg? Uh, you know, we can understand from this, you know, what a... What a hopeless or a pathetic situation that this person was in. He was completely blind. He was in darkness. And, uh, you know, because of uh, this particular situation, he was in the level of begging. But after the Lord met him, after the Lord met him and healed him, his situation was entirely changed. He was completely, his life was changed. And towards the end, he is saved and he is worshipping uh, this Lord Jesus. Uh, in our life, spiritually speaking, spiritually speaking also, uh, what I would like to emphasize here is that this, uh, spiritually speaking, anyone who is born into this world, uh, they are also spiritually blind. And that is where it is very important that we all have to be born again. Only when we are born again, we will understand the value system of the kingdom of God. I remember in my uh, childhood days, I was born in a God-fearing family. Uh, my parents were God-fearing and uh, they used to uh, train uh, you know, us in many, many ways, uh, like all the Christian homes, that you have to read your Bible regularly, uh, you have to pray, uh, you, know, you have to go to church regularly, you have to attend the Sunday school. So all these things, you know, I used to do it you know, regularly. Uh, and these are something like rules that has been set. And that is good. That is very good for uh, the children. But I clearly remember only when the Lord touched me, when I truly became born again, when I truly became born again, that is the time when, you know, there was a complete transformation of my heart. Uh, till that time, it was always about following uh, rules and regulations. And then if you don't do that, then you also condemn yourself. But only when the, God, when the Lord touched me and I truly became born again, that was the time when my completely desire changed, where... Uh, God really did a wonderful work where I laid all my plans, my ambitions, my 
career plans and everything uh, i laid it at the feet of jesus and i told lord i don't want to decide anything for me henceforth you know you tell me what i am supposed to do and i am going to live for you this one life this opportunity that you have given i want to live for you lord jesus and this change of this uh, desire the change of heart this the lord can do and that is where i saw that you know complete darkness i was in darkness even though uh, you know following so many rules there was darkness but from there god brings us into light i want to encourage uh, you know all the brothers and sisters who have gathered here if you are not born again if any one of you you are not born again if you are if you do not have any uh, any personal encounter with the lord i want to encourage uh, you know those brothers and sisters that go in the presence of god and uh, seek the lord with all your heart repent of your sins go to god god loves all of you so much god really loves all of you so much and whatever maybe that darkness you are in or whatever that pit you are in do not get discouraged brothers and sisters many a times we uh, when we see our condition especially when we are young when we see our condition at that time sometimes lots of we can be surrounded by discouragement can anything good happen out of my life you know these kind of uh, thoughts can come can uh, you know really can i be useful uh, for the lord you know what a what a pathetic situation i am in can really god help me and change my life yes god can 100% <clears throat> change all of your life and all of our life uh, god can change what we need to do is we have to repent of our sins we have to uh, turn away from sin we have to uh, take this decision that lord i want to obey you i want to follow you but lord you have to help me you have to you have to help me and when we repent of all of our sins when we confess our sins and when we go to god by a uh, faith god will accept us god will 100% he will accept us when we turn to uh, gospel of john chapter 6 verse uh, 38 this is also a verse that has been a tremendous blessing for me uh, gospel of john chapter 6 verse 38 for i have come down from heaven not to do my will but to do the will of him who sent me uh, sorry um, verse 37 all those the father gives me will come to me and whoever comes to me i will never drive them away uh chapter 6 verse 37 all those the father gives me i will come to they will come to me and whoever comes to me i will never drive away uh, this is uh, a great encouragement that i received that god will never drive me away and uh, this we have also heard from brother zack's uh, testimony also that was a great assurance that he has received even uh, this is the faith that we need to have that when i go in god's presence and when i confess my sins when i repent god will accept me and he is going to change my life completely whatever maybe that uh, situation that i am in whatever uh, you know that sin that i am struggling with whatever may be the situation god can completely deliver he can completely deliver uh, it is something like you know as an example you know you uh, take a, a rope and you tie the knots and you tie the knots continuously you know you tie so many knots in that thread and finally you know if you ask someone to you know remove that thread that all these knots it is so difficult it is so difficult but uh, you know god in a moment he can completely remove all the knots and he can make this thread straight that is how amazingly god can work in our life and this we can see in the gospels how god has changed so many people's life even a man who was demon possessed uh, you know this was also recently when i was meditating you know if we see someone uh, you know on the street a demon possessed man uh, you know who uh, cannot be chained and you know you know no one can overpower him if we see such a person on the street what would be the first thought that comes in our you know we will be like you know what a hopeless situation what a situation but even we can see you know a miracle that jesus christ have done even the most hopeless situation like that a man who was demon possessed you know whom no one can control he did not have clothes now that is the way that he was running he is sitting at the feet of jesus when jesus touched him uh, this this uh, is a great challenge for us brothers and sisters so Uh, we should never allow any sort of uh, discouragement in our life uh, we can turn to genesis chapter 1 genesis chapter 1 verse 2 now the earth was formless and empty darkness over the surface of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the waters so this was the situation of uh, the earth we read in genesis chapter 1 verse 2 the earth was formless it was empty 
darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the waters and then each and every day by the word of god this earth which was which was completely empty void uh, formless which was uh, dark god is changing god is changing that the first day is changing second day and at the end of the uh, sixth day in verse 31 same uh, chapter uh, genesis chapter 1 verse 31 it is written god saw all that he had made and it was very good he saw all that he has made and it was very good this is how god can really transform our lives even though uh, sometimes we see when we see ourselves uh, we see it is totally empty it is formless uh, we see that uh, you know there is no hope sometimes it can lead us to discouragement but we should not be discouraged the lord can completely uh, change our lives and this is what even uh, paul is uh, also mentioning in second uh, corinthians we can turn to second uh, corinthians second corinthians chapter 4 uh, verse 6 2 corinthians chapter 4 verse 6 for god who said let light shine out of darkness made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of god's glory displayed in the face of christ the same god the same god uh, who told actually let there be light let light shine out of the darkness in the same way the same god he he shone this light into our hearts uh, what an amazing thing that uh, the lord can do so god can completely brothers and sisters god can completely take away the darkness from our lives uh, he can take away all the mood swings and discouragement from our life and he can fill our he can completely transform our lives and he can fill our life with complete Uh, joy he can give us uh, you know his peace he can lead us day by day into more and more righteousness so this is a wonderful thing that the lord has uh, done in our life and i also want to encourage you from uh, turning to uh, luke chapter uh, 17 let us turn to sorry uh, luke chapter 15 uh, this is also a parable uh, that we uh, we know it uh, very well this is about Uh, the parable of uh, the prodigal son uh, now uh, you know just one one particular area i just wanted to focus here in uh, luke chapter 15 verse 20 it is written that so uh, he, he the son comes to his senses and then he desire he decided that i'm going to i'm going to go back to my father and in verse 20 it it is written that so he got up and went to his father but while he was still a long way off his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him he ran to his son threw his arms around him and kissed him uh, something that blessed me uh, you know in this uh, particular uh, passage is that he did not even open his mouth you know the son did not even open his mouth he only had this in his mind that i will go to my father's house and then he told i will set out and go back to my father in verse 18 and say to him father i have sinned against heaven and against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants but he did not even open mouth open his mouth but father was waiting for him father was waiting for him and when he saw from distance that his son is coming back you know he is just running to him even before the son opens his mouth to tell his decision that father i am sorry you know i i i have completely messed up before even he opens his mouth what father does is he saw him and he was filled with compassion for him he ran to his son threw his arms around him and kissed him that is the heart of our heavenly father uh, he knows our heart uh, whenever uh, you know we uh, slip up whenever we are in a certain situation uh, you know god knows our heart god already knows our heart that Uh, you know our heart is completely desiring for him but sometimes we fail we fail in some areas but god knows and at that time we have to see this father's heart this uh, father's heart should always be uh, you know very clear in our mind so that we will not be discouraged we always think that you know father is very angry and you know we want to run away from such a father that is how we think god is so angry against me but we see here even before he opens his mouth 
father saw him and he was full of compassion and he is running towards his son threw his arms around him and kissed him uh, that is the love of our heavenly father uh, you know when we have decided lord i want to i want to live for you lord please forgive me my sins and father in father in heaven he embraces us and then the son is telling his decision father i have sinned against heaven and against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son and then there is a great uh, rejoicing and there is a great uh, feast uh, for the father says that my son was dead and i got him back he was dead now he is alive what a great uh, privilege that we have a great heavenly father such a loving heavenly father who is waiting for us so why we should be discouraged and sit at one point and whatever may be our darkness whatever may be our darkness we can go to god with that faith that god can completely change my darkness just as this blind man for so many years he was blind and god in a moment he healed him in the same way jesus christ can completely uh, remove our darkness uh, in our life and another thing maybe for uh, born again those who are already born again uh, you know there would be some uh, particular uh, sin where we are struggling after we are born again also we struggle with a certain sin even at that time i want to encourage brothers and sisters do not get discouraged but by faith you have to go in the presence of god and say lord i don't want to get discouraged i am failing in a certain area lord i don't want to get discouraged but i want to have complete faith in you that you will help me to overcome romans chapter 6 verse 14 sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under law but you are under uh, grace we are under grace we can confess that every time even when you fail uh that doesn't mean that we have to fail but if we fail brothers and sisters we should never be discouraged but we get up and we go in the presence of god and we ask for forgiveness of our sins we repent and we say lord please help me i want to overcome and even in those small small dark areas that is there in our life where we are struggling god will bring in light and god will help us to be overcomers the second thing i want to share was about the personal encounter that uh, you know this man had you know about his experience this is very very important his personal this was his uh, personal experience that he had uh, because the moment this man was healed when he got his sight uh, he is in the midst of difficulties we can see that from uh, verse 13 chapter 9 verse 13 onwards when he received his sight uh, all the pharisees they started investigating they started checking that you know how who made him who healed him and you know whether this is a genuine thing that has happened jesus christ healed him on a sabbath day and they were all uh, you know against jesus and they wanted to prove whether this they wanted to check whether this man was really blind uh, born blind or you know they uh, you know this is being faked and again and again they are uh, checking with people they are checking with him you know tell tell exactly what has happened what has happened what and then um, you know he says yeah i was uh, blind i was born blind and i got my sight and then uh, they say okay what do you think about him what have you say to say about him uh, you know so many cross questions and finally the uh, parents are also called uh, that we read in uh, verse uh, 18 18 and 19 they still did not believe that he had been blind and Uh, had received his sight until they sent for the man's parents is this your son they asked is this the one you say uh, is this the one you say was born blind how is it that now he can see now here the parents are a little bit uh, concerned maybe if they say that jesus christ is uh, god and jesus christ have healed him they will be thrown out of the synagogue and that is also mentioned there so then uh, the parents are telling he is of age he will speak for himself uh, you know let him speak for himself he is of age and later on again they are asking this question to uh, this man and in verse 25 he replies whether he is a sinner or no i don't know one thing i do know i was blind but now i see now this is a personal experience that this blind man had and this no one can take it away from him this is his personal experience you know his parents cannot um, uh, you know uh, his parents cannot you know boldly uh, you know tell these things because th- th- that is not their personal experience but this man he had an experience with the lord that for so many years he was blind he was in darkness and the lord jesus completely uh, changed his life that is his personal experience that he had that no one can take him away and that gives him so much of boldness in his life that we uh, see later on in verse 31 32 and 33 in this chapter Uh, john chapter 9 verse 31 32 and 33 
we see how he is boldly he is testifying we know that god does not listen to sinners he listens to the godly person who does his will nobody has ever heard of opening the eyes of a man born blind if this man that is jesus were not from god he could do nothing now uh, this is his personal experience and he is he is so bold to tell that uh, that is something really amazing and i can also relate this in my life when uh, i i came to this church and i was tremendously blessed i became born again and uh, uh, later on uh, you know one day just before the wedding uh, day some of the uh, brothers from the previous church they all uh, came Uh, and we were discussing and they were checking like you know what is different in this church and so many things about doctrinal things uh, they were uh, discussing i told them and what are the things that really helped me from the uh, scripture uh, they were uh, they started arguing and towards the end i had to tell only one thing that you know brothers uh, you know maybe i don't know i i was a very new believer at that time and i told brothers i don't know uh, you know about all this uh, you know details but one thing only i know that i was completely defeated in sin for so many years and now my life has been transformed i can only tell that and after that you know they didn't have anything to say they just uh, got up they prayed and uh, they left this is my uh, personal testimony and i think many of you you have experienced that you know that i you know i was defeated in sin i was completely defeated in sin i was in darkness the day that the lord touched me he transformed my life he started you know doing a wonderful work in my life that is my personal experience and this personal experience is not something uh, you know that we can have you know one time experience but each and every day in our life you know each and every day in our life when we walk with the lord we see his blessed hand in our lives and this gives us more and more assurance and whatever may be the situation at that time we can confess this faith that the lord has done a wonderful work in my life i was blind and the lord gave me sight now i can see i am i was completely defeated in sin i was in darkness from that darkness my god he pulled me out i thought it was not possible at all but the lord by his mercy he pulled and that actually personal experience all of us we need to have in case any of the brothers and sisters if you don't have this experience please go to god god is so much willing to do this wonderful work in your life and that personal experience it will give you a strong conviction in so many areas maybe uh, at the workplace you can take a stand for the lord you can be a bold witness god will fill you with the holy spirit you can be a bold witness at the workplace maybe in your school maybe in your college when you are having when you have this personal experience with the lord god will definitely help you and the last thing which i wanted to uh, share was uh, about the difficult circumstances once we take a stand for the lord we can see here this man uh, you know what all difficult situations that is going through so many difficult situations he is going through once he receives this sight and after that uh, you know so many questioning and pharisees are against him when he uh, boldly testifies the lord finally we see over here that he is they are throwing him out of the uh, synagogue in verse uh, 34 when he confessed his faith when he told this boldly in verse 34 it is written to this they replied you were steeped in sin at birth how dare you lecture us and they threw him out they threw him out of the uh, synagogue because uh, he was uh, he became a bold witness for jesus and there was a clear uh, clear thing mentioned uh, that is in verse 22 uh, gospel of john chapter 9 verse 22 it is mentioned his parents said this because they were afraid of the jewish leaders we already had who already had decided that anyone who acknowledged that jesus was the messiah would be put out of the synagogue uh, this was a clear instruction that has been given by the pharisees but he took that bold step and he was he, he, they threw him out they threw him out and but the wonderful thing that we see is in verse 35 where jesus is when he got the news jesus when jesus came to know about this he is also meeting him again jesus heard that they had thrown him out and when he found him he said do you believe in the son of man who is he sir the man asked tell me so that i may believe in him jesus said you have now seen him in fact he is the one speaking with you then the man said lord i believe and he worshiped him see what a wonderful thing when you know people can be against us uh, even our own family when we take a stand 
even our own family can be against us our uh, very close friends can be against us maybe sometimes even our uh, church uh, people also maybe they cannot understand us that is all absolutely fine we can have lots of difficulties when we take a stand at the workplace uh, you know difficult circumstances we can face but in the midst of all that we have to have one faith that the lord is there always with me the lord will never leave me and forsake me that is his promise god is always there with us under any circumstances the lord is there with uh, with us and that is a great uh, confidence uh, that all of us we can have we can turn to uh, psalm 34 It is also one of the psalm that has uh, tremendously blessed me. Uh, psalm thirty-four, verse nineteen. The righteous person may have uh, many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Uh, this is the promise uh, from uh, you know the scripture that the righteous person may have many troubles. Many a times uh, we think uh, that once uh, you know we. uh you know we are born again and uh, we start following jesus christ everything will be uh, smooth for us but that is not the thing the righteous person may have many many troubles many difficult circumstances but the good news is that the lord delivers him from them all because the lord is there with us in every situation maybe in uh, you know in uh, your college maybe when you take a stand there are difficult situations at the workplace in your family midst of friends relatives you know when we take a stand for the lord there will be difficulties but the lord delivers them from all because he is always there with us he will never leave us he will never uh, forsake us um, so with this i just wanted to uh, close i just wanted to uh, share one last verse uh, that is uh, from psalm 34 verse 18 psalm 34 the same psalm 34 verse 18 the lord is close to the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit this is a a wonderful attitude that we can be there in god's presence you know always uh, you know uh, broken in our life uh, not to have high thoughts this has been a great challenge you know not to have high thoughts about ourselves or uh, you know uh, any any anything any anything uh, you know but always always to be broken over in spirit the lord is close to the broken hearted when there is a constant cry in our heart uh, that you know lord please help me and i am very much encouraged uh, you know in many messages where brother zack says actually in the morning when you start your day you start with a prayer that you know lord please first give first place to the lord and uh, uh, pray that you know lord please fill me with the holy spirit and help me this day i do not know what all uh, situations that i am going to face but lord please help me that uh, you know i can experience your grace you know uh, you know i can really experience your grace in the things that i see uh, in uh, you know the way that i use my tongue uh, about my attitude towards people everywhere i want to be uh, really godly lord please help me uh, when we are broken hearted when we are really having the desire and when we depend on the lord god will definitely help us he is always Uh, very close to us the lord is close to the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit those who are really poor in spirit and those who say lord uh, you know today also i saw there is some area where you know i am i am slipping up lord i want to overcome uh, you know i am having a wrong attitude in a certain area against a person lord please help me that i want to overcome in that area and god will definitely uh, help us so this is what i just um, wanted to encourage all of you brothers and sisters from this chapter 9 what an amazing thing that the lord has done in this man's life he was blind he was in darkness from there god brought lord jesus he brought him into light and finally he was saved and he became a worshipper of the lord so whatever situation we are in whatever uh, darkness or whatever pathetic situation or hopeless situation that we think we are in or uh, you know whatever uh, discouragement we are in we can run in the presence of god and we can confess uh, we can be really broken hearted and we can go in the presence of god and god will lift us up god will completely change our life and uh, he can really put his joy in our heart he can give us peace and completely transform us may god help all of us may his name be glorified